Thank you, Mark. Gunfire erupts as four Giles County deputies approach a suspect, and tonight they are thankful to be alive. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to News 2 at 5. I'm Bob Mueller. And I'm Haley Wilkes. News 2's Andy Cordan spoke with those deputies and has the story you'll only see on News 2. Andy. Hey there, guys. You know, I have known one of the deputies for some 25 years. He was holding a shield that got struck by gunfire. Thankfully, he's okay. And the other deputy who I spoke to, he took a bullet right in his bulletproof vest. Giles County Deputy John Stringer is 39 years old. The body armor did its job, but by God's grace, I'm here today. He's a veteran law officer. It's the Lord's plan, the reason why I'm here. He's a husband and father of two boys, ages seven and nine. So what you're telling me is the bullet entered right here. Yes, sir. Pretty much where your heart is. Uh, yes, sir. About a half inch from the top of the, the body armor. So I know that... By the grace of God, it struck the, the armor because if it was a half inch higher, it, you know, I, I may not be here today to, t to tell the story. On the morning of May 18th, Stringer and three other lawmen are responding to this home when suddenly shots ring out. The person inside the residence opened fire at uh, myself and the deputies at scene. Uh, we returned fire. According to investigators, 64-year-old William Robbins is armed with a handgun and allegedly shoots two lawmen. One bullet strikes this ballistic shield held by one of the deputies. Another bullet hits Stringer right in the chest. I knew that I was shot. It felt like somebody hit me in the chest with a sledgehammer. Entered, right there, that hole right there? Entered on the left side and it ultimately traveled through my chest and uh, it stopped about right here. Stringer tells me his first thoughts are for the safety of his fellow officers. My main concern was my partners were okay. That was what was going on through, through my mind at the time. The Giles County deputy says the near-death experience will make him a better officer. And this incident will remind him always what's most important in life. You know, in law enforcement, we know that it's dangerous. I think everybody's mindset at every shift is to go home. Uh, you know, and so when I got home that night, of course, you know, I hugged my wife, hugged my kids, and just blessed that I'm, you know, alive. Yeah, I'll bet. Mr. Robbins is in the Murray County Jail. He's charged with four counts of attempted first-degree murder. I asked him multiple times for an interview. He refused. Back to you guys. Thank you, Andy.